love movie and TV Easter eggs? If yes, grab some popcorn and get ready to dive deeper into your favorite worlds. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is full of Easter eggs, including Stan Lee's cameos in almost every movie, references to comic book storylines, and subtle nods to other MCU movies. One of the most famous Easter eggs is the post credit scene in Iron Man that teased the formation of the Avengers. I am Iron Man. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Stranger Things. The hit Netflix series is also packed with Easter eggs and references to 80s pop culture. In Season 1, Eleven's outfit is a nod to Edie from the eponymous film, and Season 3 features a scene that pays homage to Back to the Future. The Simpsons, the long-running animated series is famous for its Easter eggs, including hidden messages in the opening credits and Blink and You'll Miss It references to other episodes. One of the most famous Easter eggs is the Simpsons Did It joke from the episode The Simpsons Already Did It in South Park. The Star Wars franchise is full of Easter eggs, including hidden references to the original trilogy in the prequels and nods to the expanded universe in the sequels. There is an Easter egg in the first Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, that references the droids R2-D2 and C-3PO from the Star Wars franchise. In one of the early scenes in the movie, Indiana Jones is in a marketplace in Cairo, Egypt, searching for a black market dealer named Salah. In the background of the scene, you can briefly see two men carrying a large pole with a basket on each end. In the baskets are two figures that resemble R2-D2 and C-3PO. The sci-fi classic, The Matrix is full of Easter eggs, including references to Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Philosophy. One of the most famous Easter eggs is the black cat that appears twice in the movie, which is a reference to the concept of déjà vu. 